In this simple yet handy JavaScript exercise, we will demonstrate how to close specific things when a user clicks outside of them. You may have a drop down menu that you want to close when a user interacts with other stuff on the page or clicks outside of the drop down menu. Or perhaps you have information windows that appear over content and you want to close them if the user clicks outside of them. Now we're going to begin with a simple pop out interface. Let me show you what it renders. We have some dummy content on the page and a button that says pop out interface. When I click it, an interface pops out that I can interact with. Now what I want to happen is when I click outside of that interface, I want it to go away. So really the focus of the lesson is how to sense if the user is clicking outside of a target element. And you can see the way I'm opening that interface and that's not relevant to the lesson because you guys would probably have a animation that you drop your menus down with or maybe you're fading something in so you would already have an approach for popping up some magic menu or magic box we're just going to be demonstrating how to sense if the user clicks outside of that target element and then do something accordingly like close it back up okay so in order to do that we'll put some JavaScript in place and what we'll add is the window mouse up event so we'll add event listener and we'll target the mouse up event and then comma and then the function that we want to execute when that event is triggered by the user so we'll just type in function open close parentheses opening curly brace and closing curly brace now you can go down a couple of lines in between your curly braces to make a more familiar function nest and the first thing I'm going to do in the function is target the box in question the thing that I want to go away when the user clicks outside of it now you may have many boxes that you want to make go away when the user clicks outside of them so you can put them in an array and then loop over them within the mouse up function and I'll show you that at the end of the video because you may have more than one magic menu or magic box so now the last thing we need is an if condition that's going to sense whether or not the users interacting with the magic box or the magic menu so in order to do that we have to get the event reference so in our if condition we say if event dot target which is how you capture the object for the event so you see how we made an object reference for this box this is also an object reference for whatever element the user is over when they mouse up so we're going to say if event dot target is not equal to box then you can run your code to close the box now we need some more logic in this if condition but this will show you base functionality so you put your code whatever code that you're using to close your menus you put it there and I'll show you what that does so if I open the interface now and I click outside of it it goes away but we have to put more logic in place because if I'm interacting in the menu let's say if I click over here in the magic box it stays open but let me go interact with anything in the menu it closes and that's not the functionality that you want because you'll probably have things in here that you want the user to interact with if I interact with the things the child elements inside the box the box goes away and that's not what you want you want the user to be able to remain interacting in that box until they click outside of it so all we do in the if condition is put and which allows us to evaluate something else we can copy this event dot target and say and if the event dot target dot parent node is not equal to box that means if they're interacting with any of the child elements in the box you don't want to close the menu so you're sensing to see if what the user is mouse upping over is not a child element in the box does that make sense so now with that in place let me interact with something in the box now see I can click and interact with this child element in my magic box all day long and the box stays open I can click all over in the box and it stays open and then if I click outside of the box it closes and that's the functionality we want we don't want the box to close if somebody's interacting with the child elements so that's why we put this little and if the event.target.parent node does not equal the box either 
then we're going to close the box. So this if condition is saying if the thing that the user's mouse is over when they mouse up on the page is not the box and if the thing that the user is over when they mouse up on the page is not equal to a child element in the box. Now what we'll do is put an example in place that will show you how to loop over a whole array of magic elements that you might have because you might have more than one box. Okay so in my HTML I've added two more boxes so I have three magic boxes that open up as pop-out interfaces. Now in the CSS I just change things up a little so I can give them a class that way they all kind of look the same but they all have different locations because I'm targeting their IDs here and making them open up in different locations on the page wherever I want. So I'll set this one to 300 and this one to 600 left position. Now in the JavaScript let me go ahead and collapse all the CSS. Now in the JavaScript all we have to do is add an array that's going to represent these three boxes or the IDs of those three boxes. So we say var box array is equal to box one, box two, box three. Each box is an element of that array. And we can for loop over that box array within our window mouse up function. So right before all of the code that we already put in place within the function, what we're going to do is just put a for loop structure around it. So then we can indent this code correctly into that for loop. And in the for loop we say var i is equal to zero semicolon i is less than the box arrays dot length semicolon and then we i plus plus that's what allows us to iterate over the length of the box array in this for loop this for loop is only going to run as many times as there are elements within the box array and we can access all of the elements within the box array by targeting their index position within the array it's very simple now instead of saying document dot get element by id box one we just target the box array here and we put in between square brackets the i so the first time this loop runs it's going to target box one the second time this loop runs it's going to target box two and so on and so forth because the i is incrementing so this lightning fast little loop will remove all the boxes from display now let's see if that works so if i open pop out box one and I click away from it it goes away if I open pop out box two and click on it and interact with it it's fine but if I click away it goes away pop out box three I can interact with all day long when I click outside of it it goes away and the way our code is set up you can toggle really between boxes by default the code the way it's set up is uh, removing all of the boxes except the one that the user is interacting with. So that's what makes that automatic functionality of when I click another button to open up an interface, any that are existing on the page already go away and the new one comes in. Actually this should say pop out interface 1, pop out interface 2, pop out interface 3. That way you can really see what's going on. There's interface 1, interface 3, interface 2. I click in it it's okay if I click outside it goes away all right so I hope the first little static example helped you wrap your head around things and now this second example shows you how to run this over an array of magic boxes or magic menus that you might have on the page if you enjoyed the video you just watched click on the subscribe button to tune into Adam's channel he produces new videos on a regular basis. Below the subscribe button are a few more of his video tutorials that other viewers have found to be helpful or inspiring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.